But you, re you reminded me of another question I wanted to ask the judge. Um, uh, that you gave an example from an attorney's brief uh, in, in, uh, in, in your book, Legal Writing, A Judge's Perspective. And this example gave me a visceral response. Uh, on page 60 uh, in your section talking about the effective use of punctuation, uh, you, uh, you cite uh, from a case where there is a one word sentence. Um, and I found this, this very jarring. The sentence was, the verdict in this case is inexplicable, period. Literally, period. That's the end of the, the quoting I to read. And, and, and when I read that emphatic word, literally, I took it as a dare. My reaction was, oh, yeah, I was viscerally motivated to disprove that strident claim. And uh, I'm sure that was not the intended reaction of the writer. And I wonder if you see that as, uh, as a judge reading briefs, uh, attorneys making claims meant to be crisp and bold and clear, but maybe unintentionally striking you as perhaps too glib. Sometimes, uh, you know, I think we're all probably guilty sometimes, advocates and judges, um, of being a little bit too glib. It is serious um, stuff, and you do want to be clear. You do, you know, one word sentences, I think, can be very effective, um, but only, I think, if we keep in mind the, the, the way that they become effective, and that is to enhance the, the stress of a particular point. You know, if you have 10 one word sentences in a, in a 10 page brief, it will become really apparent. And frankly, most of us would think, okay, well, the, the author is showing off, whether it's an advocate or a judge. It's, uh, it's making it about them. And that's never effective, whether it's an advocate or a judge doing that. But, uh, but when it's done sparingly, um, and it's done strategically, I think it can be effective, but you do have to be careful about trying to avoid being glib, about, about having the reader think you, you're just trying to, uh, you know, to broadcast how clever I am in, in being able to use these one word sentences. So I do think you have to do this sparingly but sparingly utilized, I think either one word or short uh, sentences when used to particularly kept, uh, you know, to, 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 to capitalize on the emphasis of particular pieces of information can be valuable. Mm -hmm.